Uh, we gather here in Colombia as, um, yes, as, as Democrats and Republicans and, and independents, uh, but more importantly, uh, as mayors uh, who are committed to leading our cities and tackling the tough issues uh, that stand to significantly impact our communities and improve quality of life for the men and women uh, that we represent. Uh, yesterday, we huddled with our police chiefs uh, to discuss efforts underway in several key public safety areas. And today and tomorrow, we're going to sit around the table to drill down on other pressing issues such as immigration, infrastructure, and opportunity zones. We'll also talk about the upcoming 2020 census and the critical importance of ensuring a full, fair, and accurate count. Uh, we're focusing on new initiatives, including our engagement with youth uh, in our cities, uh, capturing this incredible dynamic energy we're seeing from young people leading across our country. The conference uh, recently launched a Youth Involvement Task Force, and today we're releasing a new best practices survey, which details the ways in which our young people uh, are engaging with their cities uh, to foster uh, their involvement in their communities. According to the survey, 54 cities, 80% um, uh, of, of 54 cities, 80% of them maintain an active youth council that helps advise city planning. We're moving forward with that, a new one here in Columbia. 89% of them have a leadership program that helps young people develop their professional and leadership skills. 89% of cities also administer robust youth internship programs for youth to help them build careers. And with the November midterms just six weeks away, mayors are also doing incredible work to help engage young people in voter registration. Since August, the U.S. Conference of Mayors has been working to help over 200 mayors across the country sign up with Mayors for Our Lives to help young people in their cities register to vote. This energy is, being, is bolstered by some positive signs showing the willingness of Washington to work with us. With us. Uh, for instance, uh, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott and New Jersey Senator Cory Booker have been instrumental in making the Opportunity Zones provisions of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act of 2017 a reality for our cities. Mayors across the country are excited about the great potential of this new federal initiative. It's a once in a lifetime, once in a generation opportunity, a chance to reconnect communities with capital investment. We're grateful for the Senator's tireless efforts in there and thank them for their continued support and leadership. Just a few weeks ago, I led a bipartisan delegation of mayors to meet with Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin uh, to discuss the potential regulations around opportunity zones. Uh, it was a productive meeting. And we were encouraged by the Secretary's commitment uh, to working with mayors to make the program a success. And, we made our, and when we made our funding priorities clear to Congress this year, we fought hard uh, to protect our top priorities, such as community development, infrastructure, education, and the arts, just to name a few. They ultimately abandoned the idea of slashing these major programs and instead opted to fund them uh, some uh, at uh, significantly higher amounts to help us to continue to build economic opportunity and enhance the lives of all of our shared constituents. Uh, so while there's so much more work to be done, uh, and the battle often sometimes feels uphill, uh, there's still certainly hope uh, for uh, good governance all across America at all levels. Mayors will lead that charge. The, um, but mark my words, uh, the mayors are not ever going to slow down. Uh, what you see here and the, the, the camaraderie and, the, and the, the humor, what you see are genuine friendships. Uh, genuine friendships that have uh, extended across this organization uh, for uh, over 80 years with, with leaders like Joe Riley and my friend Don Pasquale, a former president of this organization, Elizabeth Couts. Uh, whether we're Democrats or, or, or Republicans, um, or choose not to have any labels whatsoever, we work together on behalf of the men and women uh, of America. 85% of our citizens now live in cities and metropolitan economies. 89% of all jobs are located in our communities. 92.1% of America's GDP created in cities and metropolitan economies. As goes America's cities, so goes America, the greatest democratic nation in the history of the world. 